Hi everyone, let's solve daily puzzles of chess.com together. In this puzzle, first thing I notice is that my queen is very nicely placed because it can deliver mate here or here if there was there is a defender and something defends my queen. Also, I notice that the pawn on g7 cannot be moved because if I like move the g7 pawn I can take the queen so I am somehow delivering mate and I also attack the queen so how to deliver mate I'm thinking for example this move can help to deliver mate on g7 right can like block this of course cannot block it by taking the knight because I take the queen uh, is there any other way because I also see that rook there is also threatening mate, right? Because rook there, if takes, I take the queen. If it doesn't take, I take the h7 pawn. What's the difference between the two moves? One of them should be good, another one should be bad. So let's start with knight there. Knight there. Aha. What I see is that black can retrieve the knight. Defends the g7 square. I mean, black can place the knight on g6 and defends the g7 as square. And then now it's threatening to take my rook or take my knight. I should move the knight, then takes my rook. So that's not good. Let's go with rook there. Okay, takes, then what can we do except taking the queen, right? So let's go another day. 16th of December. No, October, sorry. <laughs> what? December. Here, what I see is that my queen is under attack, but it's okay. The pieces are... We're down a piece. Right, we are down two pieces, actually. So, basically, this means either we should win a queen, right? Or we should deliver mate. We are down two pieces. So of course, we can win this piece, for example, with no, rook, rook, or even with the queen. But it's not enough. It's uh, not enough because we are still down a piece. Another thing is that if wasn't this bishop there, I think white played bishop there to prevent mate, I could have played rook there and deliver mate. Right? Uh, what about now if we put the rook there and then give a check and deliver mate with the queen? What happens? Yeah, good. Oh, we got 15 points for this puzzle. So let's go another day. I solved some of the days, but until we get points, we go back to see how to solve puzzles. So here, first thing I notice is that the queen of white is very limited. Cannot move much. For example, if I push this pawn, queen has only one square to go. And that's c3. After it goes to c3, I'm thinking about playing thing nice knight there. Yeah, it looks like looks like winning mm, sequence because queen has to move and still queen doesn't have any place except taking the c7 pawn. After takes, I take back takes with the bishop, but then I have this attack from here, taking this pawn and winning this uh, rook because we are a cool in material, right? If we win exchange, we are basically winning the game. Uh, and we are winning a complete piece, not exchange, because, oh, we got 16 points. Because the knight can go back uh, on b3, and it is well defended. So it's a complete piece. So let's go another day. 14th of October. So this, uh, I see, first thing that comes in mind is something like this tricks that you give check and then king takes and then you somehow you place the queen there and deliver mate but but it doesn't work like this apparently another direction i see is that i can give a check here king cannot go to the h file because it is covered also king cannot go to the right king cannot go to the f file either because after you check and goes to f file this is mate right then rook should be low, but rook also is not good because I take. So it was super easy. Okay, for the sense of October, we got 17 points. Good. Good to get. 
go backward oh here we are void and we want to prevent black queening the pawn and keep at least our rook either rook or bishop or our rook along mm, uh, what i'm thinking right now is that if, if i move the king because i should somehow sacrifice a bishop for the pawn right i cannot I cannot, I cannot, no, for example, a slow play, for example, go rook there and then bishop to f1 to prevent the um, pawn queening. Or I cannot also sacrifice the rook, for example, I'll go rook there and then after pawn push forward, then capture it. It's like obvious the road, there are definitely obvious the road is not a solution to this. Also, I'm thinking about moving this king there, but this is also slow because after I move the king away, because what is the plan is uh, to bring the bishop here and defend that one, that direction, preventing mate in attack. But this doesn't work either because it's very slow. Push the pawn, then I should move the rook, attack my rook, I move the rook. Here, for example, then with king attacks my rook from the uh, g3, and I really don't see any continuation for me. I should take that pawn, and then it's draw. Wow, everything leads to the road. So, moving this king definitely is not a solution. Either I should move the bishop or I should move the rook. I believe moving bishop is also not the solution. The problem is that. If bishop wants to stop the pawn, it should go either to this diagonal or to this diagonal. Uh, to this diagonal, right? Some place here. And it cannot go to either of them in one move. And if it doesn't go there in one move, then we cannot stop the pawn. So what to do? We should use combination of rook and bishop maneuver. What can I do? Um, okay, definitely king doesn't move. So it means rook moves. It means at some point bishop comes here. If I move the rook somewhere and then put the bishop here and uh, after push the pawn, I put the bishop here and takes my bishop is fine because I take it back with the rook. But how to force to take my bishop? How to force to not push to g8, you know? Because, for example, I move the rook, for example, here, okay? Push uh, the pawn. Then I go to f8. Then uh, with the bishop. Then doesn't take my bishop. Push the pawn and queens the pawn. Then I can give a check. But then king goes to g3. And then next check, king goes to f2. Then I should take the queen with the rook because, yeah, with the bishop and rook, I cannot win. But, 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 uh huh, I see. But what if we give a check, it goes to g3? But if we prevent it from going to g3? So it means that instead of playing rook there, I play rook here. And when the king, when the pawn queens, I give a mate here because king cannot go to g3. Right? It's a beautiful puzzle. Right? Wow, nice. We got 18 points. Wow. Wow, 18 points. That was nice. So, 12th of October. This looks like somehow mating attack. What I'm thinking is that I go back rank. Ah, no, it doesn't work. I go back rank. Deliver check with the pawn. I was thinking to deliver check with the pawn. King goes up. Mm, I'm in background. I give a check. And the king has a escape square. Right? This is the problem. Another thing I see is that I can push this pawn. Right? On a spot. I can push the pawn. Cannot take. 
And next move, I threatening to take this with check. And if king goes down, deliver mate. Uh, what is what is preventing us from doing so? Uh, and one thing I see is that the king, after I push the pawn, after I push the pawn, king goes to b1. I take the pawn, king goes to c1. But still, I give a check with the rook. And king goes to d1. Then I push the pawn and it's a queen and it's winning. What's wrong? Maybe it's not queen. The problem is that, okay, still we are down a piece, right? In this position, we are down a piece. Why I don't think about any check from the white side because this knight cannot, the knight cannot jump too long to give a check or cannot give a check. What is bad about this pawn push is that at some point, the rook of white can come to a6 and um, from the back defend the uh, queening square and prevent us from queening the pawn so how to achieve that while preventing the rook coming down i think nevertheless this is a move let's make it oh no it wasn't move so what was that give it a check man that was beautiful that was beautiful. Oh, um, we, why we get 19 points while we didn't solve it? Oh, we didn't solve it, we got 19 points. That was beautiful, you see. This was a force check. And king goes down. This is also a force check. King uh, takes. And here is a slow move. That we have this pleasure that we can make such a slow moves because... Uh, there is no check, no threat to our king, so it doesn't matter what white is doing, we deliver mate. Nice. 12th of October was difficult. Oh, this is, this is crazy. Two knights versus a king. Mm. Oh, really? Are you sure this is a game we want to play? So, what I'm thinking about is, of course, this check. Force the king to go back. King goes back and it doesn't have many places to go. Then I can take the other knight. And what if it doesn't take my knight? So I give a check. King goes to the corner. Then I take this knight. Um, let's consider two scenarios. Takes and doesn't take. If it takes... Then I don't think I have much to do. Okay, I can. I can do. Um, I can do waiting move. Hmm? I give a check with this knight. King goes to the corner. Then I bring my king to... Yeah, I bring my king to the mm, uh, to the c2 square because next I want to deliver mate here somehow. And black has to respond me with something like knight check. After knight check, I take the other knight. I take the same knight that says check and I still didn't delivering mate, right? I'm talking about this move. I'm going there. I'm going there. And and I take this, right? Because next I want to deliver mate here and there is no way to stop it. Deliver mate here, okay, with the other knight. There is no way to stop it, I believe. All right, because this is a mate. 20 points. Very nice. Go backwards. I think I've seen this puzzle earlier. And uh, yeah, I think I have seen this puzzle. First thing in this puzzle. Okay, first thing you may think is that this diagonal is covered. 
So put the king to the corner and deliver mate, right? Give it check. King goes to corner and then you may think about pushing this pawn. But this is not good. Okay, I've seen this puzzle before. 